You're watching Local 5 News. Two active scenes in two different states. A double homicide investigation in Omaha on Saturday. And then this morning, more than 100 miles away, a standoff involving a person of interest in a Winterset church since resolved. Now, law enforcement calling the barricaded man a person of interest in that double homicide investigation. Thanks for joining us tonight. Local 5 is still working for you, trying to figure out what led up to a tense Sunday morning in Winterset, creating confusion and fear in a small town. We have team coverage for you. Local 5's Carson J.S. Reichardt is live in Winterset with community reaction. But first, for a deeper dive of what led up to this standoff, let's check in with Local 5's Stephanie Engelson. Yes, we are told the man at the center of all of this is Gage Walter. Now, he is facing several charges here in Iowa for what happened here today between West Des Moines and Winterset, which we'll get to in just a moment. But Omaha police tell us he is also a person of interest in a double homicide case that they are investigating. So let's start in Omaha Saturday night. Last night, uh, police found two women, 93 year old Marceline Teeters and 70 year old Linda Walter dead in a home. A red PT cruiser was also stolen from that home. Now, this morning, Sunday morning, West Des Moines police officers saw that red PT cruiser. They ran the license plates and realized it was in fact connected to that double homicide case. They tried to pull that car over. It sped off and that's when the high speed chase started. That chase went all the way from West Des Moines to here in winter set and police do tell us that that chase somewhat worked in their favor. It gave them plenty of time to coordinate between agencies so that they could kind of prepare for him here in winter set. They put some stop strips out on the street. The car ran into those. He lost control, got out of the vehicle and went inside St. Paul Lutheran Church here in Winterset. Now, this was about 830 in the morning, about an hour before services were set to start. So the building was unlocked, but it was also empty. The, we are told the church secretary was here to unlock the building shortly before Gage Walter went inside. She had left the premises, so the building was completely empty when he arrived there. Uh, negotiators came on scene, several law enforcement agents Agencies were here for about four hours working with him to surrender. They say that did happen right around 1230. So about four hours later, he was taken into custody without incident. Nobody hurt here in Iowa. Uh, we are told that he is being questioned by Iowa authorities today. So we'll learn more about the charges he will face here, but that Omaha police are also on the way to talk to him about that double homicide case in Omaha, of which he is considered a person of interest. Back to you. Stephanie, thank you. Meantime, our team coverage continues in Winterset. Local 5's Carson J.S. Reichert has been there all day and joins us now. Carson, talk to us about what you've learned. Yeah, Mary, Gage Walter of Omaha was apprehended this afternoon at St. Paul Lutheran Church here at Winterset, which you can see right behind me. Fortunately, no one was hurt in the incidents, and officers I spoke with say they're grateful the situation played out how it did. Parishioners at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Winterset gather for Sunday services at 930 every Sunday morning. But today's crowd was quite a bit different. I looked and was surprised that there wasn't a bunch of cars at church and it was police cars instead. That's because around 830 this morning, Gage Walter barricaded himself inside of the church after fleeing from police. Walter is a person of interest in a double homicide in Omaha. The chase began all the way back in West Des Moines, which created some difficulties for law enforcement. Especially when it leaves our jurisdiction, having to coordinate that with other agencies and other counties that we're entering, sometimes that chase happens faster than that communication can. So especially when we have high speeds like that, that is something that is difficult. At the time of the standoff, no one was inside the church. Even so, it still took around four hours for negotiators with the Iowa State Patrol and West Des Moines police to convince Walter to leave. In the end, he was peacefully taken into custody and no one was hurt. Negotiators uh, did a great job and brought a peaceful end to this. Uh, they, uh, they can't be uh, uh, praised enough on that. They did an excellent job. The incident is just yet another emergency that Winterset residents are dealing with. It's been just over five months since the March 6th tornado that took the lives of six community members. But even so, they're staying resilient. We've been through quite a bit since March, but Everybody does well with it. We'll be fine. Walter is being charged in Iowa for felony eluding the police and possession of a stolen vehicle. Charges stemming from a possible burglary of the church are being considered as well. Live in Winterset, I'm Carson J.S. Reichert for Local 5 News. We are Iowa.
Carson, thank you. And those of you with the We Are Iowa app got the latest updates about the barricaded person at the Winterset Church today. It's a great reminder to download our We Are Iowa app. Just scan that QR code that you see there on your screen and make sure you turn on notifications so that you never miss an alert like today's.